Red Rover, Red Rover, overclocking is, well, it's over. The new king of performance enhancing drugs, that's D-R-U-G-Z. Dynamically releasing unlocked GPU zoomies, known as undervolting, just increased AMD's performance per dollar enough to deal a KO to the 5080. As if a $600 card whooping NVIDIA's 5080 wasn't enough, you can game on a human brain. And uh, NVIDIA's lying to you. G Skill G skipped ahead all the way to 2027. We've got tons of mystery to unravel, so grab your thinking caps, kids. It's time for Meta PC's news. Stop! He's already dead. Oh boy, you guys are gonna love this. An undervolted RX 9070 XT, yes, undervolted card beats. The RTX 5080, RX 9070 and 9070 XT models with heavy coolers have massive overclocking headroom. Massive taper fade? <laughs> AMD's newest RX 9070 XT and RX 9070 graphics cards are setting the gaming world on fire. Or they would be if not for limited supply. Ooh, what do we call that? Uh, MSRP markups? Mostly speculative retail pricing. The 9070 XT can seemingly edge past NVIDIA's RTX 5080 in real world performance. Thanks only to undervolting the card. Wait, so this is like soft overclocking. Soft overclocking. Wow. It's insane. Uh, both YouTubers saw 10% boosts to FPS in Cyberpunk 2077 on both cards. Without, again, this is a soft overclock, without adjusting the clock speed in software, they did nothing to adjust the clock speeds in the software itself, just undervolted the cards. What's really happening behind closed doors from AMD and Nvidia that they're pumping these out with max power when they could What's run better on? with less. Average FPS in Cyberpunk of 66 frames per second. Now he has a voltage offset. This is the under volting here. Uh, minus 170 on there. Um, compared to, let's look at the stock 9070 XT. 60 FPS, so you're gaining six FPS. Now let's compare this to the Founders Edition stock the clocked in, this is from Der Bauer again, 65 FPS. So an extra frame mm -hmm. by doing the undervolting on this 9070 XT card. How is this possible? Interestingly enough, the stock is actually pulling less max power for the GPU. I'm Very guessing it just gives it more headroom. By using lower voltage, you can pump out. Add a disclaimer that the stats that we just went over doesn't portray a fair comparison with a bit different CPU and RAM. But what's important here is the 5080, RTX 5080, and the 9070 XT as tested by Der Bauer World, it's on equal testing ground. Yeah. So both the same, same test benches there for those two cards. So that's really what we should be focusing on here is that 9070 XT OC that was undervolted versus this Founders Edition RTX 5080. We are looking at a pound for pound heavyweight fight between the 5080 and the 9070 XT. And the 9070 XT is almost $400 cheaper. This is not a discussion that I thought we would be having. Not on my bingo card, dude, this is crazy. Now Der Bauer tested with the power color RX 9070 XT Red Devil, that is the Creme de la creme of that 9070 XT, that, that power color red devil, freaking crazy car. Changing the voltage offset moves the voltage frequency curve higher or lower, thus lowering the voltage required to hit higher frequencies. This is a great example. Tuning a car's automatic transmission so a lower RPM is needed before automatically shifting into the next gear. That helps kind of maybe draw some parallels so yeah. people can understand it a little bit better. We're gonna make these things last a lot longer, make them quieter, make I them sure faster. I sure hope so, man. What do you guys think? What do you, what do you think about this? Are we, a lot of people in the comments are going AMD 9070 XT. Let me know if you're one of them below. Let's talk about Intel for a second. Intel, that's the face of a new CEO. If you look at his eyes, he's he's very welcoming. <laughs> that's that's what's going that's what's going through uh, through Lip Bhutan's mind right now. Uh, Intel just appointed him as the chief executive officer. We love a good board of directors, don't we? They all, they always make. Uh, the best decisions, yeah. don't they? An accomplished technology leader with deep semiconductor industry experience. That's kind of probably who you want heading up Intel for the most part. I bet that'd look good on a Tinder profile. It really would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's pull up his Tinder. Oh, he really, deep semiconductor industry experience. Yeah. Dang, I'm swiping on that bad boy. You know, I think I know what he's gonna do for us. What do you think? And maybe this was him, maybe it was someone else, but Intel, it's finally gonna launch the XESS2 SDK. 
this is this is big. Maybe this is this is what he's gonna be champion, championing, champ, championing, champion. I did it. I said the word. This is a lot, a lot of frame generation. We got some AI stuff. Also, opening up some more tools for developers. Intel's very good about developer tools and trying to put them in the right hands of people. Ever since Intel announced XCSS, two gamers on tighter budgets who have considered or just upgraded to the Arc Battlemates, great graphics card, have been wondering why the development and implementation of this performance boosting technology had been so slow. Perhaps the release of the new SDK today. Mm -hmm. Maybe that uh, will Maybe answer some fine. questions. XCSS2 is now available for download and easy integration in games. You've got three components. You have XCSSSR, which is super resolution, and then you've got the frame gen and XE low latency. Intel gets to now hopefully compete a little bit more on the frame generation side of things. Mm -hmm. AMD's put a lot of time into this. NVIDIA, we know, has put their whole life into frame gen. They've championed it. So Intel has no choice but to come to, come to battle yeah. Mage. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but you did. I didn't want to do that. This is actually really cool because the Battle Mage cards have been very, very popular and we've seen actually when they were released, everyone was surprised on the drivers. Oh, absolutely. So I think this will just lead more into Battle Mage and future graphics card releases from Intel with them making updates on the software side. All right, Bhutan, what's his name? Lip Bhutan. All right, Lip Bhutan, it's up to you. I'm looking, I'm looking at you dead in the eyes. Don't let us down. Screw GPUs. You know what? Forget them. Screw processors. I'm done. Yep. I want a game on a human brain. Gaming on a brain? Say it ain't so. This it is not, so. This is nightmarish. You could say that again. <laughs> $35,000 computers powered by a lab-grown human brain. The biological computer system can stay alive for up to six months before it dies. Oh God. And is, I added that part. This is an Australian company called Cortical Labs. The computer known as CL1 is described as the world's first code deployable biological computer. And guess what, boys and girls? It's available for pre-order. How much is it? It's 35 grand. Never mind. <laughs> You don't want to buy your own device? Well, guess what? They have a uh, they have a hardware as a service, wetware as a service is what it's called, where you can rent one of these brains that will die in six months. I hate that they called it wetware. This is like the equivalent, this is the software equivalent of saying moist. Yeah. Is there sentience happening here? Are we killing a thing? Let's not go there. Let's I, not dig too okay. deep. Okay, I'll go too deep. But guys, let me know. Are we killing a brain? Is this... Is, I feel bad about this kind of. According to Cortical Labs, the neurons are placed in a nutrient solution and receive their information from the bi company's biological interface operating system. Oh BIOS. God, they call it they call it a BIOS. BIOS. Biological That's not confusing at all. Operations. Great job, guys. Which creates a simulated world in which neurons receive sensory input and produce responses that affect the environment. So what's what's the point of this? Like, what are they actually doing with this? Well, they uh, they demonstrated an early version of it, and what did they do? They they uh, played Pong. Like, the beep. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty graphics card. It is one, and guess what? What? If you are a lucky person, one of three lucky people, <gasps> you could have a chance <gasps> to buy it at oh, MSRP. What have we done with the world? This is uh, this is the equivalent of a Willy Wonka golden ticket to buy a graphics card. <laughs> uh, Elite Hubs and Colorful have come up with this beautiful, it's actually a really cool looking card. It's really cool. We're gonna be real with you here. And uh, one of the retailers in India decided to announce a special offer in collaboration with Colorful, which will enable three people to buy the 5080 cards at MSRP. The lucky people, humorously called winners, will be asked to pay MSRP. There's a lot of questions here, and I think the number one question is why this retailer thought it would be a good idea to run this promotion. Um, I, it just seems like a weird thing. To do. It does. The other um, thousand of these cards will be sold to scalpers. Oh, so, oh but, got it, got but it, got it. three very, very lucky, lucky people will get to buy this at full, at full MSRP. I want them to go ahead and just label the cards MSRTX and like, just let us flex for being able to actually get it. You know, whenever you get a good sale and you come home and you're like, hey, guess, much, guess how much I spent? That's what I got. That's right, I got $200 off. Oh, Do you have to sign up in a lottery in order to get a Meta PC? No, you don't. It's time for an ad. Don't you dare click away. I've done so much for you. The least you could do is watch this. Guys, at metapcs.com, you can configure a system the way you want it. If you've already got a GPU and you want to just Throw it in there, you go through the configurator, pick all your parts and say, hey, I've got my own GPU, just wire it up for me so I can plug it in. Anyway. 
And on the Ready to Ship page, we have systems like this. This one didn't even make it on the site. Phil went through all the effort to take the photo and then it freaking sold. You've got to constantly be refreshing the page, see what new stuff we're adding every single day. It's all at metapcs.com, baby. I even think we have um, mouse mats at any, oh yeah, it's weird how they just show up on time. These are the brand new MetaPCs Hyper Beast mouse mats. Now listen, I don't ask for a whole lot other than for you to buy a brand new computer for me, but if you're not gonna do that, then you could buy one of these mouse mats on Amazon. All you gotta do is look up MetaPCs Hyper Beast. We have this beautiful design that my uh, two girls love. Uh, they love to color on them with their markers. Or we have the full color Hyper Beast or the black and gray version of these mouse mats or uh, buy a brand new PC. Just pick one of the two, do it. NVIDIA proudly claims to have shipped twice as many RTX 50 cards in five weeks than the 40 series. Lies! They couldn't be lying. <laughs> <laughs> the primary issue lies in the availability of GPUs during the initial launch period. Now, 40 series, when that was introduced, the only card was the RTX 4090 that was available for the first five weeks. What about 50 series? They had four freaking models. When they come out with these and said, hey, listen, we shipped twice as many GPUs. You had four times as many models available. Of course you did. Yeah. What are we celebrating? So the 40 series, they would have shipped more if you compare those models. If the they same, released in the same order this, like they did with the 50 series, they would have definitely surpassed. They would have, they would have surpassed the 50 series shipment. I reject your claim. <laughs> I'm no expert, I'm just a guy that sits in front of a green screen, but let me tell you something. Something right. So I 1440p'd myself looking at these G-Skill uh, new RAM modules. Look at this, G-Skill announces DDR5 8000. 8000? What? Where'd 7000 go? I don't know, they, they skipped? What? What? We've got high speed, high capacity, and low latency. Look at this polished image from G-Skill. Ooh, we're marketing, boys. That's pretty. God, that's what I call marketing. You can tell this came from a PR statement. <laughs> yeah. The world's leading brand of overclocked memory and PC components is excited to announce three new DDR5 specs. Wow. DDR5-8000, cast latency 36. These were 24 gig by two uh, kits. DDR5-6000, cast latency 28. 48 gigabytes by four. That's 192 gigs. That's a fat kit. It's a fat st Fat stack. stack. DDR5-6000, cast latency 26. 24 gig, dude, that's- That's the kit right there. That's got those Expo overclock profiles. Mm. 48 gigs at 26 cast latency. Boy, that is juicy. For that 9950X3D that just came out. Mm -hmm. We've got memory speed timings. We've got screenshots. We've got all of the good stuff here for you to help make educated decisions. But what we're gonna look at is just this very simple black uh, and white chart. I, I'm learning a lot. Just I'm now. learning so much. I'm learning so much. Hey, uh, G-Skill. Uh, cool. <laughs> RTX 5060, 5060 Ti, we got some leaks coming from a platform in China. Unfortunately, uh, this anonymous tip came in, but they can't, uh, they can't get further details. Interestingly, the 5060 is said to have 12 gigs of memory. Which, that would actually be some new news. Yeah, it would be actually really good news. NVIDIA could use three gigabyte GDDR7 modules on the SKU, and that would probably look a lot better than the eight gigabyte spec that has been kind of rumored up until this point. Anyway, the 5060 Ti is listed at... Shall we Google? <laughs> Let's do some currency conversion. Five minutes later. 581 bucks. Now this is against probably an AIB version of the card, so who knows, kind of... What we're looking at exactly also, this is the uh, the retail and the MSRP in China. While the 5060 would cost 37.99 yuan, 525 in uh, in American freedom dollars. Freedom dollars. So it is Tuesday when we're recording this. So by the time this come out, comes out, I may be a total idiot and, and Nvidia has like already talked about the 5060. So keep that in mind. Maybe we'll show it right here. Did anything show up? If it showed up, then then, if I'm, it showed up, they have to comment. They have to, you gotta comment. If it showed up, that means we did some editing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining MetaPCs News this week. Now there's something very, very important. A lot of you are still not subscribed. Why? God, come on, we're here putting on a show. Do you know how many Zen pouches I've got stuffed in these lips to keep this energy level up? Uh, no, I'm just naturally this way. I don't believe in Zen. I'm not a Zinner. <laughs>
Guys, hit subscribe, like button, leave a comment. We have a lot of fun doing these. I really enjoy doing these. Um, if you would like to catch more of our content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll see you next time.